Have you ever wondered if your daily habits are the reason why you're not rich already? In today's video, I decided to try out the billion dollar morning routine for three days. I did some research and found this website which claims to incorporate the morning habits of some of the world's most successful people. Apparently, the one billion dollar morning routine is set to redirect your mindset and health each morning for you to spend the rest of the day at your full potential. Ultimately, creating healthy habits is one of the most influential steps in a billionaire's success and can significantly change your performance throughout the day. In this video, I put this morning routine to the test. Stay tuned if you want to find out how it went for me. Good morning, you guys. So the first thing that we're doing this morning is we're gonna recall our dreams. While a typical person would begin their day by staring at their screens for the first few hours they are awake, the first thing that a typical billionaire does when they wake up is recall their dreams. The importance of knowing your subconscious by recalling your dreams is substantial information to understanding yourself and your own visions. I actually really like that idea because I never sit down and think about my dreams really when I wake up. It's honestly something that I kind of just forget once I wake up and I don't ever think about again unless I had like a crazy dream and I wake up and I'm like well what was that but like on a day-to-day -day basis that's not something that I really do or think about one similarity though I have is that I do not go on my phone in the morning regardless so I already don't do that I have my journal here and we're just gonna write down I guess what I dreamt about I literally cannot remember what I dreamt about last night but, but I definitely feel like this is a powerful tool because we don't really use our subconscious mind that often consciously if that makes sense so this is probably a good practice to kind of help access that subconscious mind <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that it says to do is make your bed. You might be wondering what is so special about this step that everybody does for billionaires to feel the need to gatekeep it. Well, making your bed once you get out of it is important to do right away, and it is indeed a successful habit because it sets your positive momentum up for the rest of the day. Making your bed is one of the first few things you do in the morning that can significantly contribute to your mindset and allow for a more productive one. So I honestly don't make my bed until kind of like after my morning routine. I, it's not really something that I do like right away when I wake up. So this is a little bit different for me. I used to do it right when I woke up, but since me and Joel kind of just get out of the bed at different times, sometimes, sometimes me before him sometimes it's the opposite I just kind of make it whenever so it's not something that I like strategically do with first thing when I wake up so this is a little bit different but I can see how it can kind of set your day up for success because you're like accomplishing a task right away you know what I mean so it's like productive and then that can be like a snowball effect for the rest of your day so anyways I guess let's make the bed Okay, so we're in the kitchen now because the next step is to drink water. It is a fact that everyone wakes up dehydrated because you lose many hours of consuming water in the night while sleeping. It is paramount to hydrate yourself early in the morning. If a cup is not right next to you on your bed table, take the extra effort to walk to your kitchen and pour yourself a tall glass of water. I personally cannot drink water in the morning unless I brush my teeth. Like, it's just a thing where, like, first thing when I wake up, I need to brush my teeth. So it's not something I would do right away anyways. But I've already brushed my teeth and everything, so it's fine. But I would not just roll out of bed and drink water because to me, I find that a little bit disgusting. But regardless, we're going to drink water now. So I'm just going to fill up my water bottle and have a few sips. I mean, I'm, like, really thirsty right now, so I normally drink water around this time anyways um but let's fill up this bottle the next thing on our list is to breathe in this step the key is to focus on your breathing and use any technique that you find comfortable for you some techniques include box breathing alpha breathing and Wim Hof's method giving yourself time to meditate properly is important so that you are able to have a clear and release any remaining troubles from the previous day so I used to meditate in the morning but once I started waking up at 5 I haven't been meditating in the morning because I know that if I do I'm just gonna fall asleep I feel awake today like I'm not very tired so I feel like it's fine I'm gonna do a little bit of a meditation but be calm conscious of my breathing and yeah i'm only gonna do it for 10 minutes it doesn't say how long so i'm gonna assume it's like a shorter session so i actually did a little better with the meditation than i thought i didn't fall asleep i was like kind of starting to yawn a little bit but other than that i didn't fall asleep i was conscious through it all so that's quite impressive for me 
Okay, I just got dressed in my workout set because the next thing to do is to make a move, which basically means to exercise. Although this step may seem daunting, it can become much simpler than working out. By doing small movements such as jumping in place, jumping jack, or stretching, you wake up your body and get your heart rate beating normally. This process can take as little time as one or two minutes in your morning routine. This is basically saying you don't need to go out and actually work out if you don't want to. You can just like kind of do a little bit of jumping jacks or stretch yoga i'm assuming and just kind of get your body moving so that you can kind of kick start your day i am gonna go to the gym just because i feel best doing that but it's basically saying that yeah it could be just two minutes if you don't really want to go and do this whole exercise at the gym thing and yeah okay let's go Okay guys, I just got back from the gym. Next thing that's on the list is cold shower, which I am not ready for. Like this is gonna be so torturous. Cold showers are a great way to wake yourself up if you're feeling a little tired from the previous steps from this routine. A cold shower includes benefits such as resetting your nervous system and reducing inflammation. There's another benefit that these showers have a positive effect on people who suffer from depression because the cool temperature sends more electrical impulses to the brain which can help alleviate depression. That is very interesting. I know there's a lot of good benefits about it like it can boost your immune system and all that but I've never heard of that one before. But anyways, I'm like so dreading this like I just don't want to shower. I want to take a nice hot steamy shower like usual. I'm like so so dreading this. This is gonna be awful. Ooh, I'm already freezing just thinking about it. I've actually tried to do this before and was just really unsuccessful. So please wish me luck. It probably doesn't sound bad when I say, oh, taking a cold shower, but like I dare you to try it. Put the shower all the way on cold and try to get in because it's harder than it seems. Like, oh my god. Let's try this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So next up on the list is journal. An interesting fact is that the hobby of journaling has become increasingly more popular. I have seen many social media posts of aesthetically pleasing pages under the journaling and have adopted this habit myself. Simply write out your thoughts and communicate in your journal with yourself. Journaling is actually something that I already do, but I do it like first thing when I wake up. It's just like different timing, but same thing. So I'm gonna do some gratitude journaling in my five minute journal. And then I'm also just gonna do some regular journaling in my book. Okay, so the next thing up on the list is to make a to-do list. It is important to set goals for each day. These goals do not have to be anything ambitious or big. It is all up to you. They can simply be three goals about getting work done or about running certain errands. Setting attainable goals each day allows you to feel proud and accomplished of yourself. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a to-do list on my laptop in Notion. That's just like the platform that I use to plan everything out. Okay, so I just wrote down all that I have to do today. It's actually really helpful to have a to-do list every day because it kind of keeps you on track. I have this template in Notion and it kind of gives you like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like all the days of the week and like a schedule here um, and a calendar so that you can write out your to-do list for every day and it really helps me stay productive and yeah, I really like it. Okay, so the next thing on the agenda today is to make a to-feel list. Similar to the to-do list step, the step requires you to write down certain feelings you want to feel throughout the day. You can design it to feel grateful or to feel excited and even motivated. Having a to feel list will help prompt your mindset as well in the right direction. I've never actually done this before, but I feel like this is such a good idea because it's kind of like setting an intention for the day. So if you get lost throughout your day, you can just kind of be like, okay, I made the intention to feel happy today. So that can kind of motivate you to switch things around or whatever. But yeah, I'm excited to do this because I've never done this before, so. Okay, so for my to-feel list, I wrote, I wanted to feel happy today, present, and productive. Yeah, I love how that's setting the mood for the day. Okay, so the last thing on this list for the morning routine is to read. As a final step of the $1 billion morning routine, taking time to read will train your brain on analyzing and allow for full function for the rest of the day. This step not only brings more knowledge, but also improves brain connectivity and reduce stress. I usually kind of read more towards the end of the day now, but I only really like reading self help books in the morning just because i feel like they really motivate me i really want to buy the book atomic habits and start reading that but 
in the meantime i'm just rereading ask and it is given this is like all about manifestation and everything and i love this book and it really does motivate me every time i read it so i feel like getting that motivation in your brain first thing in the morning is really good so yeah i'm just gonna do a bit of reading i just came back to my bed because when i read i like kind of being in a room just because if i'm out in like the living room i tend to get really distracted Good morning you guys so you know the drill i'm waking up and recalling my dream but i think that this is one of the things in this billion dollar morning routine that i'm going to continue to integrate just because i genuinely think that it's good to like write down your dreams and kind of try to remember them because like it said it kind of accesses your subconscious brain which is probably good for you so this is something that i'm going to actually continue to do once i stop this video so yeah i just feel like this is really cool like you don't have to write it down but even if you just kind of wake up sit in bed and think about your dreams i just kind of opened a new journal today so i can make this my dream journal it would kind of be cool to like look back at your dreams because i've had some crazy dreams but i always forget what they were and also i feel like dreams mean something it's kind of cool like the psychology behind dreams um sometimes i feel like they're actually real and we're actually living in that life for a bit while we sleep which is crazy like that could be a reality like who really knows but i heard this fact that we actually dream every night whether we remember it or not i don't know if that's true but that would be cool okay let's write down our dream last night because i remember it it was so weird Okay, it is time to drink some water, wake myself up. Feeling a little extra tired today, but I definitely feel like I might fall asleep during this meditation next because today I woke up and I was in such a deep sleep. Like sometimes I'll wake up a bit before my alarm and then when my alarm goes off, it's like not as bad. But today I was in like a deep sleep. So then when my alarm went off, I'm like, there's no way. I love when you drink water in the morning and it's cold and you can kind of like feel it going down your system. Okay, time for meditation time. I'm gonna play the same um, Apple Music meditation. Okay, let's do this, but let's hope that we don't fall asleep. Okay, you guys, so I know that this doesn't specifically say to take this in the million dollar morning routine But this is just something that I can't go without every single morning ever since I started to take it So we're still doing this every morning, but every morning I've been taking seeds ds1 daily symbiotic and I would love to thank them for sponsoring this video So what this is is it's actually a two-in-one prebiotic and probiotic and I love taking it every morning because it supports my gut skin and my heart health So the thing that I love most about seed is that they have so much science and research to back them up. So their daily symbiotic is actually formulated with 24 clinically and scientifically studied strains for whole body benefits. And I truly do see so many benefits from taking it and that's why I can't go without it anymore. So I actually used to take this other brand of probiotics and they used to hurt my stomach so much when I would take them on an empty stomach. And so I had to stop taking them. But ever since I started taking seeds, my stomach has been completely fine. And I actually do take them every single morning just because I know that it's completely fine on an empty stomach and like i said before i have suffered from gut issues in the past and if you don't already know this everything stems from your gut so that's why it's so important to keep your gut healthy I'm taking it for over a month now and i just feel really amazing i've been on track i've been waking up early every morning and it just goes to show that when you're taking good care of your gut health it really does reflect outwards since it helps support your gut health and maintain it that directly correlates to your skin so it also promotes smooth and clear skin and i just feel like lately my skin has been really glowing from within i know when my skin is glowing and it's clear that i'm like yeah i'm doing a good job at taking care of my gut health also you guys know that i'm somebody who loves working out and staying healthy and being fit and staying in a routine and see definitely helps and supports my body to do that every single day and it just makes me feel really healthy and good overall so another fun fact is seed is actually free from dairy gluten soy animal products gmos peanuts binders and preservatives 
so you're all good in those categories. So this is a full container that the DS1 Daily Symbiotic comes in, and then it also comes with a mini travel size, so you guys can also take it on the go. But yeah, like I said before when I was talking about them in a previous video, 2023 for me is the year of health and taking care of my body, and I just feel like seed really helps me do that. And it's something that's so easy to incorporate into your routine. All that I do is take two capsules every single morning with water, and that's it. It's something that makes me feel so healthy and so good, but it's so easy to do. But yeah, so if you guys want to shop them, obviously the link will be in the description and you guys can use my coupon code BENTO to get yourselves 15% off. But yeah, so I'm just going to take them and then we're going to head to the gym. <laughs> I just got to the gym. If you guys are confused, I have an apartment gym, but I also have a gym membership because my apartment gym is like super limited. It has a bunch of free weights, cardio machines, and then some cable machines. Like it doesn't even have a squat rack or anything. So that's why I have an actual gym membership. So on the days where I wanna do a more cardio based workout, I'll go to my apartment gym. The days where I wanna like do lifting and stuff, I'll come to my actual gym. So that's why if you guys see me like at two different gyms, that's why. At least it's not raining today. So that's a plus. We're looking at the positive side of things. But anyways, we're gonna go because self-discipline is one of the best forms of self-love. It's so true because like you're keeping a promise to yourself that, and that's building a lot of trust within yourself. So yeah, let's go do a workout. <sighs> okay guys. Just got back to the gym. It is cold shower time. I am dreading this so much. It's not even funny. I just gotta suck it up and do it. I like pump myself up for this. Ah! Okay, it's currently journaling time. So I'm gonna do my gratitude journaling and then just my regular journal. Okay, now we're gonna make a to-do list just on Notion again. Like I said, this is my favorite way to do it. And it's just so aesthetic and cute. But yeah, I realized that the days I feel the least productive is when I don't make a to-do list. So making a to-do list really does help me and it makes such a big difference. I would suggest trying it if you guys ever feel like lost within your day or you need some extra motivation because it just feels so good to accomplish the tasks, tick them off. I always do the most daunting tasks first and then the list just gets easier and easier, which makes it really nice. So here is my to-do list for today. Um, yeah, we're all done. For today's to feel list, I wrote, I wanna be fulfilled, lucky, and abundant. Got that done. I really like making these. Um, it made me feel really good yesterday. So this is something I also might continue doing in my morning routine. Okay, we're going to read a bit of my book. Something that stood out to me in my book was really simple but i feel like it's something that a lot of us often forget so the longer you think thoughts the stronger they become because the law of attraction is behind the expansion of your thoughts it is not possible to give your attention to something without achieving an alignment with it to some degree so i just feel like this is so important for like our negative thought patterns that a lot of us have and how it's so important to shut them down because the more you think negative things, the stronger they become, the stronger you begin to believe them, and then they're just going to start to manifest into your reality. So it's just so important to be very cautious of your thoughts, what you're thinking, even if you don't really realize it. Just kind of try to pay attention to your thoughts more, and if you realize that you have a lot of negative thoughts, try and switch them and turn them into positive affirmations or positive thoughts instead and even if you have to lie to yourself at the beginning that's just like planting a seed still and the more you do it the more you're going to believe it and the faster your thoughts are actually going to turn positive so yeah that's just so important that i feel like i even forgot was that how powerful our thoughts are and how they manifest into our reality like it said to some degree okay that was it for the morning routine today but i will see you guys tomorrow bright and early Good morning. Oh my god.
Good morning, you guys. This is actually the first time I talked today, so that's why I came out like that. So first things first, you know what the drill is. We're gonna recall our dreams. I had some weird, weird dreams last night. Like weird. You know when you just wake up and you're like, what was that? That's the type of dream that I had last night. I don't even know how or why I dreamt that, but I did. So we're gonna write it down. <laughs> I just like don't understand dreams. It's so weird. I'm like, how did my mind even think of that? All right, getting in our first sip of water of the day. That's good. Let's go do some meditation and hope that we stay awake. It's the last day we're doing this morning routine. It's also Friday today. I'm gonna queue up the same playlist. Let's do this. Just got dressed into my workout set. We're gonna just go down to my apartment gym today and do some cardio. Probably gonna do 12, 3, 30 or something like that. I'm so sore from yesterday, so yeah, today's just gonna be a cardio day. Usually I would sauna after, but today I'm not gonna sauna just because I'm following this morning routine and it doesn't say to sauna, but usually that's what I would do when I go to my apartment gym since we have a sauna here, but this is a different morning routine. We gotta test it out. Okay, let's go to the gym. now time for the most dreadful part of this routine which is the cold shower i do like i do not want to get in this is something that takes a lot of dedication and i'm just not ready to implement this into my routine because i just implemented waking up at around five which is like very early for me so doing this double whammy is definitely too much but i do understand why people do it and it's definitely going to be something i eventually incorporate sometime in my life but just not now now is not the time for me but i do understand why a billionaire would want to do that anyways let's just do it let's get this done i'm just trying to talk to you guys longer and longer because i'm procrastinating doing it okay let's just do it So now it's time to journal. It is so gloomy outside today. Like usually the sun is basically all the way up by this point, but I have to turn the kitchen light on. So anyways, we're just gonna do the same journal, um, gratitude journal, and then just my regular journaling. I love journaling in the morning. It's just such like a calm and peaceful time that you can make for yourself because I feel like throughout the day, we're always go, go, go. We feel like we need to be so productive, but journaling and especially meditating too, it's kind of my time where I sit down and I can be like, okay, like, this time is for me and I get to just relax and do this for as long as I want. And it's just like really, I feel like key, especially for me, just to have that quiet time in the morning. Things are just still before the beginning of the day starts and things start to get chaotic. Okay, so I just opened up Notion and we're gonna make our to-do list. It's Friday today, so we're gonna take it a bit easier, lighter on ourselves. I kind of like to be more lenient on myself on Fridays, so let's do that. Okay, here is my to-do list for today. On my to feel list today, I wrote, I want to feel inspired, fulfilled, and relaxed. Okay, you guys, so that leads us to the end of the video. After doing this morning routine for three days straight, I kind of concluded that I like my morning routine better but i am going to continue to do some things in this morning routine like i said i really liked writing the to feel list and i also really liked recalling my dreams so i'm definitely going to incorporate those two things into my morning routine the one thing that i didn't like about this routine was the timing i feel like i do things at different times like i don't journal after i work out i like journaling first thing when i wake up and so 
I mean, I do a lot of the things on the morning routine, but just in different timing. So essentially, I just kind of move things around and there's a couple of new things that I had to do. But overall, I'm really glad that I tried this and I encourage you guys to try it just for fun because it's kind of interesting, like people who have so much money, like what are they doing in the morning? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what's your favorite thing that you do in your morning routine and maybe we can like inspire each other to add things into our own, own morning routine or try some new things. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Do not forget to subscribe and go follow me on Instagram.